Okay, you guys, uh, what I've done here, I've taken my value scale card, I've punched holes in all of these, so that as I'm going along here, I can I can say, well, how, how dark is this? You see, it's not as dark there, so it's falling right in here, but this part up here goes all the way to black, and this goes all the way to black. So we're working on this, and each one of these squares, you can see, is labeled alphabetically up here and numerically down here. It's numeric, alphabetical, alphabetical like that. So top and bottom, I've done the same thing to this. I've done this, all of the same markings here. So if I want to go right here and say, where, where is that? It's between... 12 and 13, and I'm numbering the, the lines and, and putting the letters on the lines, not on the square. Each line has an individual marking so that you can find where you are. Um, if I want to come here between 12 and 13, I can see that I've taken this line out now because this is a white area but I can see where the line is and how much this extends over the top of the line. I'm going to have to do a few things down in here. The, the same kind of thing, though. I'm, I'm just marking and, uh, and drawing this out as per the grid. Now, this is an inch grid. This is a half-inch grid. That's why I have two different, two different sizes. The half-inch grid, I can tell what's going on in each square. And the thing is, is that you're not, you're not drawing like this. You're not drawing the whole thing. You're drawing just what's in each square. You can draw that, right? That's not so intimidating. It, none of this is intimidating now because it's, small and broken down into these half-inch squares. So you can look at this and you can draw these things. Instead, it's, it wouldn't be so difficult. The other thing that I wanted to show you was how to make um, a stomp. You can go and buy them, um, certainly, at, at art stores. But if you just take a paper towel Fold it up. I have a shop towel here. It, it's a little harder, but regular paper towels work great. I take this and I fold it and I triangulate. Tri uh, that's hard to say. I try to triangulate it here so that when I fold this up, now I've got a nice hard piece of paper that I can come in here and start smudging my edges. This is atmospheric back here. So you don't want to have lines. You don't want to have anything. You want to have this just blend from one thing to the next. Um, another thing that you can do is once you get an area blended, and if you want to put some lighter spots into that, you can come back with your kneaded eraser, which you can clean out just by kneading it like that so you get back to nice clean part of the eraser. And I can even put textures into this like so and then come back and lift out certain areas just to lighten it a bit. It's atmosphere. So we're trying to deal with that atmosphere, okay? You can see here how it's modeled. So... I had one little issue when I took this from the school. I rolled it, and some of the paper got some creases in it. So I'm trying to work around that. But that's, that's how all of this works. It's just by the grid, okay?